Hello everyone and greetings on the occasion of the National Science Day. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to all the events that we have planned around National Science Day today. All these events have been put together uh, by the Science Activities Center at Iser Pune and they have worked hard for the last one, one and a half months to put together all these events and it's for you to enjoy all these events today. Before I say anything about uh, some of the events that you're going to watch, I'll not take much time, but uh, maybe I'll uh, just say a few things about the Science Activities uh, Center itself. Uh, the Science Activities Center, or as we call SAC right here inside our campus at ISER Pune, uh, was actually started about five years back. It's one of the unique sort of institutions in the country, in the sense that here is a place where you learn about science, science is disseminated, not through the usual medium of theories and uh, like writing mathematics on bl blackboards and so on, but actually through activities. Everything here is activity. You know, whatever complex theory that you can think of or whatever uh, complex or very difficult concept that you might encounter in your science books or even in newspapers or in any such literature, you will most probably find a simple science toy that will explain it in a very simple way. In fact, these toys are the sort of things for which you won't need very expensive gadgets. All you need is, you will actually find the raw material for this right probably inside your home or maybe at best in the shops around your home. All you need to do is to fire up your imagination and to start off, just visit the Science Activity Center here. And we are hoping that now that the pandemic is hopefully receding, we'll be able to welcome all of you to visit physically here, see the kind of toys and gadgets here, which exemplify a whole lot of science theories and you can repeat it yourself. You don't need our help as well. And in fact, once your imagination is fired up, you can go beyond what uh, is done here at the Science Activities Center and we'll welcome any new ideas that you will have. We'll be happy to adopt them and show it to the rest of the world. In fact, we've hosted almost close to uh, 75,000 visitors since uh, the, the center itself was started. And unfortunately, in the last two years, there had been the pandemic, but the activities of the center did not stop. We just went online and we uh, totally received uh, almost as much as uh, 35 lakh uh, visitors uh, in this uh, time. It's been teachers, students, and even ordinary citizens who are just curious. You don't need science background. Uh, you don't need to have uh, any such experience with science. All you need is interest and just some curiosity. And the events planned uh, today, the kind of things that you're going to see are also uh, very similar. For instance, uh, I'm sure all of you know that uh, uh, the National Science Day itself uh, is celebrated uh, on this particular day, 28th of uh, February, to commemorate uh, the discovery of Raman effect by C.V. Raman. The first of the programs that you're going to see is about the life history of uh, C.V. Raman by uh, Dr. Pawan Kumar, who is a faculty at um, Iser Pune. And many of these events are uh, put together by uh, faculty of science, uh, I mean, faculty at Iser Pune, along with the Science Activities uh, Center team. And then there are a uh, whole lots of hands-on activities in mathematics and uh, science. You must have heard about fossils. There is a talk about fossils. Even if you don't know what it is, here is a chance for you to know about it. And you must have more recently uh, heard about this uh, James Webb Space Telescope, an IR specialized telescope, which is going to benefit astronomy and cosmology. And you're going to get a very specialist's uh, talk who is going to explain in very simple terms what the James Webb uh, Space Telescope is about. It's not just science, it is also one of the greatest engineering marvels. You will learn about it from my colleague uh, Ramana Atreya. There is a talk on paleoclimate and the talk about data science, something that you keep hearing all the time these days. You see products built around data science, artificial intelligence, a whole lot of things uh, are today based on uh, data science and artificial intelligence. Again, here is a chance to get to know what it is uh, from my colleague Amit Apte. There's a talk on DNA sequencing, uh, talk on probability. Often for many students, probability is uh, sort of a nightmare. 
but again if you listen to it you'll once you understand and get the hang of it you'll realize that you don't really have to sweat it out to understand uh, probability and then there is a, a talk on millets an important component of food which nowadays we often miss out but this is something that you should hear as to why we should take this route there is a talk on large hadron uh, collider one of the, again both an engineering marvel and one of the biggest scientific uh, experiments uh, that's still running uh, today and to top it all we have something called toy fest 2022 uh so you're going to see a showcase of science toys and finally uh this is for everyone's participation there is a science quiz i invite all of you to participate in it more than that there are prizes to be won and uh, so there is the prize itself is a mystery i'm not going to reveal it i think you should wait and uh, see it uh, clearly there is a great uh, lineup of uh, events for the day it's my pleasure to invite you Uh, to see all these events but more importantly we are soon hoping that we will be able to open our gates for you to visit and when that opportunity comes i invite all of you to visit iser pune and the science activities center at the iser pune and hopefully next year uh, when national science day comes you can actually be here right in the campus to enjoy all the goodies thank you and welcome